guys welcome back okay so today i decided to play in this beautiful nomad orient express palette now i received this palette as a gift from nomad cosmetics i was like oh my gosh i can't believe they sent me this so so happy they did now nomad cosmetics is a husband and wife team and they base all of their makeup palettes around travel different places locations and stuff that they go to visit spend time in and on their instagram they kind of have these little things where you they put up different pictures and stuff and you try to guess where their next launch is going to be based around and i was not able to guess this one but absolutely love this palette it's so beautiful and i'm so appreciative of them for sending it to me you know I didn't have to film with it or anything. They just sent it to me, but you guys know, okay, if I get a bomb palette, I want to try it out for you guys. So, so, so pretty. I really love the packaging for this palette. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get it all dirty and destroy it, but it's so pretty. It's like a blue velvet feeling type of packaging it's just so nice and so different it really makes me think of the orient express but this is what this palette looks like you guys i'll go ahead and put some specs up here regarding the pricing and whatnot for this palette but this is what she looks like what i like about this palette is it's unexpected you know even though you look at it it's like oh, okay it's a couple pops of color your blue your red your green and your gold it's still a really inspiring palette now when i first looked at it i was like okay i don't know you know should i do a blue look should i do a green look should i do a red look what should i do you got your neutrals your shimmers your mattes it's really gorgeous let me let you get a closer look because you can't really see from a distance you know the beauty of this palette now i did do swatches for this palette on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram what you doing girl make sure you follow me on instagram but i might go ahead and just insert a little clip of the swatches that i did for this palette i knew when i swatched it that i was going to really enjoy this palette i could just tell but like these shimmers are surprising like you look at this and it's like okay oh that's a blue you know that's like a, a gold but they have like little shifts in them you know which is like so so pretty it's hard to capture for the blue but the blue has kind of like a blue purpley shift in it i don't know if you can see that but it does and then this gold with that red shift oh so so pretty so yeah, I did go ahead and put swatches on my Instagram, but just, you know, a couple of swatches for your viewing pleasure, okay? So as you can see, I couldn't decide what type of look I wanted to do, so I just did all the looks, okay? <laughs> from this palette so hopefully i was able to capture a bit of the feel and theme of this palette in this one eye look so if you want to see how i created this look today using this orient express palette from nomad stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so let's go ahead and jump right in i'm starting off by prepping my lids with my p louise base as usual just using a brush to create a nice base now the first shade I'm going into is Golden Age, which is this really pretty matte yellow shade. And I'm just gently tapping that right on my brow bone. I just wanted to kind of add that touch of yellow for this look. Next I'm going into, is it Etoile, Etoile du Nord? <laughs> I can't pronounce this color, you guys. It's a really pretty green matte shade and i'm just applying that in my crease as you can see i'm using kind of a larger pencil shaped brush to carve out the shape for this eye look today i wasn't sure what i wanted to do you guys know when i sit down i usually kind of just wing it and that's basically what i'm doing today but i know i wanted to use a lot of colors from this palette so i'm setting the base for a cut crease so that's why I'm dragging it out so far. Next, I wanted to go into the blue. You guys know I had to play with this blue. 
Now this shade is called Bon Voyage, <laughs> Bon Voyage, and I am just using a smaller fluffy brush to apply that basically right over that green, but just a little bit lower so that I can still see the blue and see the green, but I really wanted to see how these colors would build and how the blue would apply. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Very nicely pigmented, very, very pretty. So before I go in with my cut crease canvas, I'm just using a little bit of makeup remover to take off the area that I'm going to cut crease just so that I don't have it interfering with my white base. So now that I have a nice blank base, I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I do use the shade Halo. Very nice white base to create this cut crease today. And just tapping it down so that I have minimal creasing. So the first shade I'm going into is Roaring 20s. And I know when I place this red down on my inner corner, you guys are probably like, oh my goodness, KK, what are you doing? But you'll see it all is gonna come together in the end. Next, I'm going into the Gold Shimmer, which is Istanbul. Placing that right next to that red with a flat brush. This color is really pretty. And as you can see, very nicely pigmented and is laying down on this cut crease canvas very nicely. I like the white base because it allows you to be able to see the color very, very true to how it is in the pan. Very, very nice. And these shimmers are very smooth as well. So now as you can see, I'm just taking the brush that I used for the red and I'm gently tapping that out, blending it into that yellow. What I wanted to do was to create kind of like a you know, like a starburst effect to where it grades or gradiates from red to orange to gold. So, I mean, this matte blended into that gold, so, so pretty. Next, I'm going into the shade Venice. And you guys, I really don't know how to describe this shimmer. It's gorgeous though. It's so, so pretty. It's one of those shimmers that's just a gorgeous color that you can't describe but you can definitely use this with any of these matte shades in this palette to create a beautiful look with that on the lid. Next, I'm going into the green shimmer, which is called Grand Sweet. And definitely, if I was on the Orient Express, I would wanna be in the Grand Sweet. <laughs> knowing my personality so yeah i'm just blending that in next on my cut crease i love how all these shimmers blend together and it's like you can beautifully see the color but it's not so bold that it will scare you at least not in my opinion so lastly i'm taking the blue which is called simplin pass and tapping that on that outer portion of this cut crease and also blending it into that green and like I said, it's like this blue has a bit of a shift to it to where it kind of looks like a purple blue when you swatch it and blend it out. So, so pretty. I love this color. So this is what we have for the eye look so far. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my complexion and add some lashes and we can move on to the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm starting out with my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. This is a bright green one in the shade Gotcha. And I thought this would be a nice pop on my lower lash line to kind of tie this look together. Now I'm going back into the blue, Bon Voyage, taking a small fluffy brush and just kind of blowing that out on the outer and center portion of my lower lash line. And you can really see all these colors coming together as I add them on my eye. This eye look definitely is not for everyone, but you guys, if you know my personality, you know it's for me. So next I'm going in for my inner corner pop and I'm using the shade Paris. Beautiful bright white shimmer shade. Adds a real nice pop to this look. For my lower lash line, I'm just using my Maybelline Mascara. I've been using this from my Shop My Stash. And this is the look, you guys. So let me know what you think. I really wanted to use as many colors as possible from this palette. As you can see, <laughs> 
definitely possible with a cut crease. You can just kind of see how they blend. You can see how they apply and you can also see the pigmentation and I just love it. I really, really like this palette, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed watching me create this look. So don't forget to hit that like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!